Hey y'all, it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm going to be crashing this pay-to-win Minecraft server called play.loverfella.com. If it sounds familiar to you, that's because it's owned by a massive kids YouTuber called Loverfella. He is basically the definition of a clickbait YouTuber. He has three different channels, has over-the-top faces and reactions in his videos, and he has 14 different monetization pathways for his channel. Now, of course, while this is a bit sketchy, there's nothing really wrong with this. Like, yeah, it doesn't really scream quality, but there's nothing inherently wrong with trying to monetize and build a channel. But it's his Minecraft server that's a problem, which is in insanely pay to win. Just take a look at it yourself. In addition, he has a currency called Lover Bucks, which basically allows you to directly buy OP items in the game with it. This is like the definition of paying to win. They also sell Cray Keys, which is basically a glorified slot machine. It doesn't even tell you the odds of getting something valuable, so for all you know, the chance of getting it could be 0.0001% and you would have no idea. This is literally gambling, but for children. Especially since this guy's audience is entirely young kids, this is especially damaging. Many of them don't even know what pay to win is, they simply think they're favorite idle YouTuber could never do something so bad to them, and fall for this trap of what's basically gambling for children facilitated by a YouTuber. Now, Mojang's EOLA enforcement is shoddy at best. Although they force the server to remove their sellable unbans and various garbage, making it go from over-the-top garbage level pay to it to just garbage level pay to it, it is still horrible. We've tried to talk to the admins, but they clearly don't give a crap, so we're going to take things to our own hands. We the players can't just let this guy do this, so we are going to lag the server out to send a message. We will be using a lag machine so simple, it's honestly hilarious. So all you need is a crafting table and 10 pieces of iron. This took me less than 5 minutes to get, so it is incredibly cheap. So all you gotta do is craft one of your ingots into nuggets. Then, you have to spam between the recipe for an iron ingot and an iron block very quickly, and this will cause incredible amounts of lag to the server. But of course, this is kinda slow, so... We made a script. It will spam between both recipes and cause incredible amounts of lag to the server. So while my alt account is lagging up the server, basically nothing works. Mobs can barely move, and he basically can't play the game at all. Everything is frozen. So if we could just make this lag machine on Loverfellow's server, it would lag greatly. And best of all, if an admin teleported to me, they wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because to them, I would look like just an ordinary player trying to craft. But the clock is ticking because this lag method was recently leaked by an unknown member of our circle, so we had to act fast. So I started off with buying some bread with a little bit of money I spawned in with. So being a Minecraft Pro Gamer veteran, I actually didn't even know Iron Nuggets existed, so I went ahead and mined gold and iron, as they would fare just as well. They are just a bit more expensive. And for this, I used Baritone, an auto mining AI developed by 2B2T players. Next, I made a small little base underground. I made some furnaces to smelt out my gold and iron, And while the ores were too expensive, I could afford some coal, so I bought that to use to smelt. So now, after waiting for everything to smelt, it was go time. I opened the crafting table with free cam, which made it seem like I was not crafting at all. I would be liking the server in plain sight. It was honestly insulting to me how easy this like method was. After all, I was a guy who spent several hours mining thousands of iron ingots to lag out a server, but this time, in less than 5 minutes, we were going to take the server to its knees. All I have to do is turn on the auto clicker. Here. We. Go. After just a minute, chat began noticing the lag, and oh, they were furious. A little bit more time went by, but literally in less than 30 seconds, a moderator was already on the case. Now of course, chat did not stop saying like and just kept complaining. And in just a few minutes, I was already recognized. And it wasn't long until chat got suspicious that it was a bit more than just normal server lag. The lag kept going on and people were still confused. Yeah, like that's gonna help. And 
then suddenly, the server went down. I don't know if it was an admin who closed the server or if it just crashed, but now it was time to wait till it came back up to keep going. The server was still down, so I joined its sister server, Survival Future, to get the materials to crash that next. My buddy Nausicaa dropped me some bones and some iron, which would also fare just as well. I stationed myself at spawn to use those crafting tables as it would be a lot less suspicious, and with the help of free cam, I could glitch into it. To the moderators, I would be an ordinary player just using the shop. But Industrial came back up, so we decided to split up and like each server independently. Okay, well I can be the one person on here while you do industrial. I would instead be backup if Nausicaa got banned. So I went to survival industrial, went to the same spot, and got ready to lag the server out. I turned the macro on and instantly the server began lagging. Just give chat some time, a little bit more time. Come on, come on. Oh, there they go. The moderators tried to quell the chat, but nobody would listen. Oh, I wonder who half the lag machine. The moderators clearly had their priorities in line. It didn't take long, but now the server was down again. After 10 minutes, the server came back up and I was ready to crash it again. But I couldn't help but notice its incredibly high player count, which is about double what they usually get. But ignoring that fact, I got back on the server, but this is when something ridiculous happened. I noticed a whole bunch of people in chat talking about some kind of event. I never planned for this, but by some stroke of luck, Lumberfella himself was on the server running a trick-or-treat event for Halloween, and he happened to ping his entire server of 100,000 people at the same time. All while me and Nausicaa were lagging the entire server with a near undetectable lag method, those two things will go extremely well together. Here. We. Go. Right now, it seemed like chat was mostly distracted with trying to get Lumberfella's attention. Everybody was at spawn, so nobody was really out there noticing the lag, but some did. I guess reality finally hit them as the server crashed. That's too bad. Now, Nausicaa still didn't crash the future server, so I joined it to try helping him. Here, I noticed Loverfellow was now on the future server, probably because I crashed the industrial server which he planned the event to be on. So, as I was already set up, I got to work. Everyone followed Loverfellow to the new server, so I was going to finish the job and crash it with Nausicaa. Somehow, I don't doubt that he actually linked his screen. Also, for some reason, everyone in chat just started randomly saying me, despite none of the admins or Loverfellow himself saying anything about a giveaway, which is kinda weird. But I noticed something interesting, it seems like the players themselves are under the impression that Loverfellow himself is crashing the servers. But again, they couldn't escape reality. The future server finally crashed. So naturally, everyone went back to the industrial server, which is the other one, and was confused why it kept going down. It turns out that Loverfella actually made up a lie and claimed that the server going down was a fake out, implying that he took it down on purpose himself, as if he was playing a joke and purposefully misleading people to join in the wrong server. I did find this improv kind of funny, although he did come up with a pretty convincing excuse. So I applaud him at at least that much. So I was getting ready to restart the lag machine. My materials seemed to have gotten rolled back after the crash, so I got them again. And when we were getting ready to lag it again, the server just went offline for some reason. None of us had started yet, so this was kind of weird. But when it came back online again, something really crazy happened. Yo, wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 can anyone else craft? Bro, wait, 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 okay, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, they actually disabled crafting. Did they disable crafting? Yeah, wait, wait, no, bro, we, I literally cannot craft. So what, craft. Are we might, <laughs> you've managed to make a server disable crafting. Yeah, no, wait, you literally cannot- you literally cannot craft- what?! They disabled crafting! Y yeah, no, bro, they literally turned the server from a Minecraft server to just a mine server. And since half the things are clean, it's- you can't even- you can't even mine in half the places. Like, dude, this is literally just a server, like, you can't do shit on here! So on Halloween day, crafting was entirely disabled on Loverfellow's Minecraft server. So I'm looking at their Discord server and, uh, I can't craft anything in my inventory. Is that due to server issues? Well, more like web store issues, but you're not far from the truth. Also, if you search up craft on Discord, yep, nobody else can craft. 
And let's not forget about all the people complaining about the lag there too. But the best part is that while crafting was disabled, using the recipe book wasn't, meaning we could still use the lag method. It was time to reach out for my auto clicker again and get going. To be honest, I had no idea if it would still work, but chat reacted. Amy and Lesbian Gay Caramel were not very keen on the reactions, but that did not stop chat from complaining about the lag. The server and chat run on different threads, which is the nerd way of saying it won't. But chat seemed to be following the narrative that 6083 was the lagger. Why? I don't know, but it was funny. But I guess they played their role as they did admit to their crimes. Spoiler alert, it took longer than 10 minutes. Bro even figured my title out, oh my god. And then finally, the server died. It lasted about half an hour this time. Everyone seemed to have their own theories about what happened. Sheesh, finally they got the channel right. But there was a problem. The entire time I was liking the server out and nobody noticed it. And judging by how nothing in the crafting menu is changing, that means they probably fixed it on the server. So I joined the other server to see if it worked, and sure enough, it did. That's pretty rude. I hope your parents taught you better than to call random people on the internet pooper sticks. The only duck you should be thinking about at your age is the one from a duck song, so just chill for a bit. Gosh, why do people keep getting the channels wrong? South Sea one doesn't even crash servers. And yet you have a $50 rank, okay. At this point, I was falling through the floor. The lag was horrible. But then the admins used a hotfix to stop both crafting and the rest of the book. The gig was up. But it turns out that both the servers are connected with the same hardware, which means that whenever I lagged one, the other one would lag two. I don't know why this was the case, but this doubled the potency of the lag method. So while we lagged it out for two hours, it was really more like four. After about a day, Loverfell's admins brought back crafting and patched the exploit by preventing you from spamming the crafting book. They also reported it to Paper, who added this option to patch the exploit in their config, which means that now, on every single Minecraft server, this exploit is patched. But we still use this like method on many, many more Minecraft servers before that happened. See, I lost a hard drive that I recorded it all on two years ago, but recovered it about last year. My recent videos have been really long, so I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing more old uploads from that drive like this one. Let me know in the comments section, though. That's all. Follow my socials, I guess. Oh, and Loverfella, I'm in your Discord, and my DMs are open, so don't be afraid to reach out to me if you want to talk about moving away from pay-to-win. Bye-bye.